Welcome back to the Wormhole, everyone, your number one place for entertainment and fun. I'm Sean. And I'm Gwen. And we're here with another Pokemon card video. So today we are checking out the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box for Lost Origin. I know we did the regular Elite Trainer Box, which was just eight packs and your standard sleeves and all that. This one's got a little bit more in it, and we're going to kind of see a little head-to-head, -head, see if maybe we get Lucky Pull a little bit better with the Pokemon Center one. Yeah, so I'm excited, and as we were setting up, we realized that there is actually a pin in this. There is. So I'm quite excited to see that. So we're going to talk about the retail value, we're going to talk about what's in it, and then we're going to look at the pulls. But also, guys, we kind of have been playing around with our setup, so, you know, it's hopefully the call, the video looks better. Let us know. You know, let us know if it looks better, let us know if it looks worse. If you see any technical issues, give us a heads up, because... It's been a, a chore trying to get everything together. So this guy comes in at a $49.99 retail, and it comes with 10 packs. So right off the rip, you're looking at $5 a pack. But when you pull out, you know, when you look at the sleeves, these are about $5 for a pack of them. And when you look at, there should be a pin in here. So we've got your regular dice. These are just plastic dice, nothing special. But... Oh, yes, that's what I'm so, looking for. So, Giratina acrylic coin, and then this is the Giratina pin. Right there we go. There go. So, typically I like to value the pins at about $10, because once they go out of print, they're gone. Same with the sleeves. Once the sleeves go out of print, they're gone. That's it. So, you're looking at maybe about $10, $15 value between the two of them. It's about 35 bucks for 10 packs. It's about $3.50 a pack, a little below retail. This might be a better value than buying the individual regularly trainer boxes from GameStop, Walmart, or any of the other retail stores. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the pulls compare. So. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it is the same dividers. And here are all the packs. Oh, I'm interested to see if they are gold. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my. What happened here? <laughs> A little bit so, of like a cutting error. Yeah, so I don't know if you've mentioned yet, but here's the box. So these actually showed up a little damaged. Yeah, so I just want to shout out real quick. Quick warning, you guys. If you order a box off the Pokemon Center and you want to display it, in their head, this kind of damage is what this is for. So to them, you're not getting a replacement. We, we message them, we say, hey, you know, we want to maybe put one of these on a shelf, might not want to open it, you know, maybe you want to give it as a gift. And they said, too bad, because the cards are safe, that's the point. But then you look at things like that, technically, this didn't penetrate the actual box, but, yeah, so it I did also, its job, but still. I also want to mention yeah. that the box that they were shipped in was in perfect condition. You know, the, just... Like nicked off. Yeah, weird. Oh, Very that's strange. like a cutting error. It's weird. And then the the. Yeah, was that like, like the, that? Yeah, the like <laughs> sleeve to this was cut off. So very strange. Yeah, everything else seems all right. But all right, so very nice pin. Yeah, that was what I was excited about. So what do we got? You split up five and five. Yep. So all right. Now we've talked about kind of what you're getting, what the price is, let's see what the pulls are. Not, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I have heard nothing but tragedy so far. So we're gonna see. I don't ever expect to pull an altar, guys, but if we do, I'm really glad you guys are here to see it. Oh, I would, I don't know. I would probably just like, I don't know, pass out, scream, we'll right. find out. <laughs> Because some of these, the alt arts in this one in particular are just ridiculous. They're so hard to get. If you get an alt art, please comment, let us know, because congratulations. And of course, I want the most expensive one, the Aerodactyl. It's not the most expensive one. The most is expensive it? one is the Giratina. Is it? I thought of course it, was. it is. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Giratina is $240 right now. Aerodactyl is about $140. Wow. Oh, wow. that's like Quarium. Jeez. The all arts in this, yeah, the, I think the Rotom's like 40 or 50. It's just a cram. And I do know that we're missing about 50 cards from our master set so far, so we still got a little ways to go. There we go. Didn't count yet. Alright, so let's hope we get at least something that we're missing. It. And. Oh, Spectre. Right? I don't, you know, it's. 
I just hope we get like a trainer gallery or two. I really want those Pikachu trainer galleries. Oh god, yeah, the Snorlax, the Gengar. Like, there's so many in this set that are just beautiful. Right? There are, though. It's just such a beautiful... This set has so many beautiful cards, and yet the pull rates are just so rough. So we're gonna see, and remember with the code cards, Comment which ones you took. Be nice. Yes, please comment. It helps with the algorithm as well as helps everybody else in the channel. Because nobody wants to try to go through the effort to put a code in for it to turn out to be already used. Okay, okay. Well, we oh! Rotom V. Nice. Full Rotom art. V full art. Okay, so that's one full art. Thank goodness. Look at that. That's cool. He's got like a... Like a, a very digital background. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Yeah, because in... Diamond and Pearl, he's in a TV. Right, so so far you've gotten, well, you got one hollow and you got uh, one full art. Yep. So it's a little rough for a bit of a rough be, start, but... yeah. And okay, so nice, another regular hollow. Another code card. Oh, right, I just want one trainer gallery. Yeah. Because just... last time, like, we really only got, I think, the Kabu trainer gallery. Oops. Bump the cord there a little bit. And uh, I would really like it if we could get a few more of those. But... Yeah. I mean, there's quite a few in this set, or is it pretty standard? What? It felt like there were a lot in this set. It's trainer gallery. Oh, um. There's 30. There's always 30 in a trainer gallery. Oh, okay. Yep. Maybe it's just because there's a lot of really good ones. Oh, there are. There are a lot of. And then, like, the next set's gonna have a bunch of great ones, too. So, Parasect. Okay, wow. I'm on my last one. Last code card. Starting off with a backwards V card. Alright, come on. Last pack of magic. Ooh! Ooh, Radiant Gardvor. That's awesome. Yeah. And a yes. oh, gold dark patch. All Look right. at you. Alright, so we got a Radiant and a Gold Rare on your last pack. Hell yeah. Alright, come on. Beat that. Alright, we're gonna see. Fingers crossed. All right, here we go. Card bank. Oh, thanks. We needed one of those. No pressure. Oh, all the pressure. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Trainer gallery, oh, Bennett. Sweet. sweet, sweet. And nice. Galarian Berserker V. So look at that. We both got a double pack our on last our last one. pack. That's not bad. I completely I divided those randomly. Too. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I don't know if I threw that code card up, but you guys grab it just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. So, you know what? Mm, not terrible. We got one trainer gallery, one full art, one radiant, a secret rare. This is actually, I would say... For a single box, it's yeah, actually not too bad. I, I feel think, like we pulled something similar opening two of these. I was going to say, I think we did better on this one, give or take. Um than you know we did possibly on the last one because last one we had six more packs than we did on this one and uh you know we really didn't get a whole lot more in the other other ones yeah so. and we still pulled pretty well so yeah so i would say honestly with the pin the sleeves uh and then you know hopefully with a decent pull rate in your guys's boxes too i would say it's better to get the pokemon center box than the regular etb that I that being said though, when you go into the store, you pick it off the shelf. You can look at it. If you're not trying to open it, you just want to put it on the shelf. You know, it's nice being able to see the quality of what you're getting. Yeah, in person. And definitely. know that you're gonna be, you know, if if it's damaged, that you don't have to buy it or you can return it to a degree. So, all in all, I would give my blessings to the Pokemon Center ETB with some caveats as mentioned, and yeah. I think we got some pretty good polls today. So. Leave us some comments on whatever you've pulled. Let us know if anyone out there has gotten any alt arts yet. We'd love to hear from you because I think it's just a myth. I have not purged. I don't know anybody personally that's pulled any yet. They so. don't actually exist. Yeah, they don't exist. It's, oh, but all right. And you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.